Hello, this is Combo, and in this video I'll be teaching you how to fix a broken pet. This works on both cats and dogs, and it will allow you to get the dog or cat to follow you if, for some reason, they won't sit or stand when you right-click on them. So right now, I'm trying to right-click on this guy, but he just won't respond to my commands. The reason for that is probably because his owner isn't actually me. Now this could be for several reasons. Maybe the game got corrupted and the dog no longer thinks you're his owner. Maybe your name changed, or maybe you're looking at somebody else's world and you want to get the dog to move around. Well, this MC Edit filter will fix that. It will change the dog's owner's name to you, or whatever you want, so you can get the dog to move. So let's switch over to MC Edit, and I'll show you how it works. All right, so we're in MC Edit now. And as you can see, there's a red box here. This red box represents where our dog is in, in the world. And if you remember, I couldn't make the dog sit or stand. And this filter will make that possible by changing the ownership back to me, the player. The, or the, rather, the player that has wants to have control of the dog. So select the area where the dog is using the selection. And make sure that the box is tall enough. You might want to raise it up one just to be sure. Now if you go to filters, you should be able to select the pet owner filter here. It says pet owner console. And you can see it has three steps. The first step is to click filter. The next is to enter the owner's name in the console and make sure that it's in quotes. And then press enter after you've entered it. So first click filter. Now you'll see filter turn green and MC edit doesn't respond to anything. All right, so now we need to go to the console. So go over to the MC Edit console. It looks like this. You see this line down here that says enter the owner's name in quotes. That's where you'll enter the name. In my case, it's Cabo PC. So go ahead and enter it. And you should see a flash of red in your MC Edit GUI. That tells you that it's done. Now you can uh, save the world and go back in and it should work. Okay, we're back in the world. See our dog is here, but now he'll sit and stand when we right click on him. So now we've got a working dog. And that's all there is to the filter. Stick around and I'll show you another filter that doesn't require the console, but unfortunately it does require a modded version of um, MC Edit to use. So we've got our modded version of MC Edit open now, and the reason I'm using a modded version here is because the current release of MC Edit does not allow for text input in filters. So I just made a slight change to allow text input, and I'll show you in here. I'll open up the world. So we'll go over, we've got the dog, this little red box. So we'll select him and go to filters. And just like before, select pet owner. It's not called con labeled with consoles this time because we don't need the console. You can see owner name here. It's asking for a string, which is just text basically. And so we'll put in whatever name we want. Let's uh, let's make the owner Etho. So we put Etho here, and then click filter, and it updates the chunk. Then we can just save the map and go over to the world in Minecraft. Now. Uh, hopefully in the near future they'll update the release and we'll be able to use this text input but I don't know when that's gonna happen so anyway over to Minecraft okay we're back in the world again and this dog no matter how much or how hard I try to right click on him he just won't stand up but if we had Etho here and Etho were to walk up and right click on him he'd start following Etho and that's how the filter works changes the owner name. So, uh, all the links will be in the description. I'll include all the files, both versions of the filter, the one that requires the console and the one that doesn't. But keep in mind the one that does not require a console will require you to mod MC Edit, and I'll include the modded filter.py file, which will allow you to use it. So, uh, all those links will be in the description, as I said. I hope you you've enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.